Hello! I wanted to go ahead and make a video highlighting all of the eyeshadows that I got for Black Friday now that all my orders are in. So if you want to see swatches of these eyeshadows and hear my thoughts, go ahead and just keep on watching and subscribe. I actually just filmed a whole video going over my Luxie Beauty order up at the top up here. So I'm actually not going to swatch those today for the sake of time. So if you do want to see my thoughts on all of these shades, see swatches, comparisons, all that good stuff, I will link that video in the description. Feel free to check that out. So what we're actually going to start with is my Lethal order. So I... I'm kind of sad. I had a video filmed where I had built a lethal palette because I was considering doing a Black Friday order, but I wasn't sure. And I was going to talk about whether or not I had like shades I thought were similar to the palette I built, and I lost that footage. So you're not going to be able to see that, but I will tell you about what I did end up getting from Lethal. I decided to do a build your own palette because they were doing a really good deal on building your own palette, but I wanted, I didn't want 12 eyeshadows. I knew that. I knew the ones that I wanted, and so I knew I didn't want 12, but I also, the only nine pan that they have is like the type that has the square pans built in, and I don't love that because I have so many circle pans and I feel like that means I can't use the magnetic palette as much. So what I'm trying to say is I destroyed the palette. I cut out the like boxes that, you know, keep them square pans on the inside. And I need to like clean up the edges a little bit more, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And interestingly, I can fit 12 circle pans in here now. So that's kind of fun. And then these are the shadows that I put inside of the palette. This was kind of my redemption arc for Lethal. I have one order from them from the past and it was fine. It didn't like blow me away. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it one more time and, you know, see how it goes. And honestly, I feel like I've learned Lethal just isn't my favorite brand, although I will say I am happier with most of the shimmer shades in this than I was with my initial order last year. As promised, we'll go ahead and get to swatching. This first shade is Mercredi. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, it's one of the ones that they did in collaboration with like an animal shelter or something like that, I think. And it's supposed to have like a marbled pink in it. I don't really think that that impacts the shadow and as I've swatched it and been using it I feel like it's kind of disappeared but at its root it's kind of one of those like green brown duochromes although I will say I did swatch this in comparison to all of my other shades similar to this and none of them have the same flip so I was pretty happy about that and I feel like it does have a really nice shine to it and there's a very clear duochrome so I really like that one. Next up I got the shade Rise from the Ashes and I have a black like glittery type of shade from the Friendcation palette that came out a long time ago but it's getting old and I love the idea of having a shimmery black and so I figured I could replace it with this although I will say this is like their old formula and it definitely shows it isn't super shiny at all. It kind of looks more like a satin when applied. So it's not quite what I expected based on the swatch photos. But, uh, you know, you live and you learn. So that one, probably the only dud, complete dud out of the nine pan. But still, one out of nine. Not great. Next up is the only, like, full multi-chrome I got. This is the shade Singularity. And I will say, it is a very strong multi-chrome. It's got a cool purple base with like a teal and green and gold and kind of like an orangey gold shift to it. It is really pretty. I do feel like I have similar shifts in my collection. Dupe video coming soon. And this one was kind of expensive. I think if I had gotten it at full price, I think it's like $16 or something like that. So it's kind of pricey considering that I have others similar to it that are less expensive. Uh, but I will say that the formula on it is nice. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is pretty sparkly. Lethal always does 
a much finer sparkle than kind of like the thicker sparkle that you might see in some of these Luxie shades or Terra Moons or something. This one definitely like, as soon as I swatched it, I was like, oh wow, that is very sparkly for Lethal. So I like that one. Next is the shade Twilight. And this is a newer shade from them. And I thought it was going to be really sparkly based on the swatches. I don't feel like it is as much in person. It's really thick feeling you know it's very opaque and there is some sparkle to it it just isn't quite what I expected but I am happy to report that the color is unique for my collection so I am happy about that and compared to the previous shimmers that I have from Lethal I do feel like this is the better formula the next two shades are shades that they released for their new palettes that came out on Black Friday the first shade is Ethology, and it's very similar to something like Vela from Davina. So it's got a yellow base with a green and pink flip to it. Again, we've got that really fine sparkle, but it definitely is sparkly, and I do like it. I Again, for Lethal, this is like their more sparkly formula, but I did swatch it next to Vela when I am like was prepping for the dupe video coming up, and I feel like that one is sparklier in comparison to this. They consider this a multi-chrome. So this one full price is I think $9. And I'm pretty sure the one from Davina is $8. But I also feel like Lethal is much easier to order from. So take that as you will. The other shade I got is Queen. I've been looking for some yellow golds in my life because Stax, I think Stax might be done for from Luxy, which you know was a recent love, uh, but it broke. And so I've been looking for replacements and this is pretty, definitely not as sparkly as Stax, but it is a really nice yellow gold. And to round out the palette, I got three mattes. I tried to pick colors that I thought would be unique Two of them are, the green is a little similar to other things I have, not exact, but close enough that I didn't need it, if I'm being honest. Uh, I got the shade Onset, though, and this is a unique color for me, and I'm really happy to have it because I feel like it's a color I've been missing. It's a very dusty, light pink. There is something almost a little purple about it, and I really enjoy that. I've been using it as a transition. I used it for this shade when I wore this on my eyes. I've used it for a couple of other things that aren't here, but I've enjoyed it. The next shade is Relapse, and while I'm swatching this one, I will note that the Lethal Matte Formula is consistent with the other mattes that I have from them, and I do enjoy the matte formula. I don't think it's as like amazing as some people do, but I do think it's a pretty nice formula. And then lastly, I got the shade Insomnia, and I do feel like this one is a unique blue tone for what I have. I don't have a ton of blues, so I was happy to add this because I feel like as I'm building palettes, oftentimes I'm like, oh, I wish I had something exactly like this, and now I do. So this is my Lethal Cosmetics Black Friday order all swatched out. I would say overall I'm happy with the purchase because it's one of those things that I would have always been thinking about this brand if I hadn't done it. And so to get it for a sale and like get to try it out one more time, I'm glad I did it. But I don't think it's a brand I'm going to be purchasing from in the future just because it's nothing super special and the build your own palette thing I do anyways. And so that part isn't like as, you know, unique for me as it might be for other consumers. But I am happy with the shades that I got except for this black. Next order that I did was from Copacetic Cosmetics. I decided to pick up just a few shadows that I had had my eye on. The first is the shade Centennial Wheel. This is a multi-chrome. It's very, very flaky. And this is an exact dupe for Flare Star by Terra Moons. Again, video coming soon. I will say I found like this one sticks to my finger a lot when I try to swatch it out, but when I put a glitter glue on my eyes, I feel like it gets on my eyes and it looks, you know, fine on my eyes, which is what really matters. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Next up, I decided to get this flaky shade called Splendor. It's a really pretty like deep brown base with a golden flakiness to it. 
I really enjoy it. Um, it is that like flaky texture that copacetic often does. And so it is a little particular, but it's a very pretty like glam kind of look. This is the shade Oh My Gourd, which I'm pretty sure if I remember right is considered just a regular shimmer. And I was really surprised with how sparkly this shade is. Normally I feel like the regular shimmers from Copacetic lean a little bit more just like regular metallic, but look at that sparkle. Oh my gosh, it's like a gold with a green sparkle. Honestly, that one might be my favorite shade in the whole order, but this next one is Silenzio Bruno. I think it's a Encanto reference, which is kind of fun, and it's an interesting shade. I thought it was going to be a little bit more taupe, but it is pretty silver. It's got like almost a taupey gray purple kind of base it's really interesting with a silver sparkle on top and it is a very interesting color it kind of reminds me of the one in the glaminatrix nearly natural palette so uh you know that's kind of a fun comparison then i got two mattes i got this shade cold shoulder i love the idea of like a neon blue kind of matte i definitely feel like it needs to be built up which you know fair enough for a more neon type of shade but it definitely can get there i haven't tried it on the eyes though i've swatched it on my hand a couple times but uh, I haven't I haven't done any crazy colorful looks recently. Then I also got the shade Luca, and it's really pretty. I wanted a neon kind of green, but I realized I kind of played myself because I got this, and then I got this shade down here from Menagerie. Slight spoiler for later. Look how similar these two are. Now, why did I do that? I... Honestly, I did that because in the swatch photos, this looks very different than how it appears IRL. So I didn't think that they were going to be dupes, but I duped myself in the same day of ordering. So, oops. Other than that last shade, though, this is my Copacetic Cosmetics order, and I'm really happy with it. They were doing a really good sale, and I'm glad that I added these shades to my Copacetic collection. I also placed a very small Terra Moons order for Black Friday. I got six shades, and I got this shade, Cerise Waves, which is a metallic red. I didn't have any true metallic reds, and so again, it was kind of filling a hole that I feel like when I'm doing BYOPs, I'm missing a lot. So I'm really happy with that one. It is a very bold red. It, I would say, they say it's a true red, but I think it does lean just a touch pink on the scale of orange to pink in reds, you know? So take that as you will. Next, I got the shade Harvest. It's one that had been on my radar for a long time, so I finally decided to bite the bullet. It's really just like a golden bronze with a very, very slight green shift to it. And this is another one where I feel like I kind of played myself because I also ordered the shade Burnt Toast from Luxie. And let me swatch these on my hand for you really quickly. Look at how similar these are. The Luxie one, you have to build up a little tiny bit, but like, those are pretty close. Next, I got the shade Cosmic Noon from their newer fall collection. Uh, spoilers, I did purchase four of the like cheaper shimmer shades from their winter launch, so I'll film with those once I get them. But Cosmic Noon... I gotta say, really happy with this one. It is so unique. It's like an olive-y, kind of lime-leaning green base with a gold and pink shift in it. Out of all of the shades I got, this one is definitely like my clear favorite. But the next one that I got is Chasing Comets. And this is, again, different than I expected based on the pictures that I saw. It's got a kind of like cool blue purpley kind of base with a pink shift and then it does have a teal shift in a completely different light. I don't think I'm going to be able to capture it but it does exist because when I very first pulled it out 
and you know I was sitting in my living room I was like oh wow look at that teal but in here I never see it I will say though this one does stain very badly and next up is honestly the biggest letdown I would say out of all of the shades I got at least at this point this is Karina Nebula and all of the pictures I saw of this one I was like that's the one. I wanted this one even more than Cosmic Noon. And I just feel like it's not very shifty. And it the color of it doesn't look anything like what I have seen online in everyone's swatches. And I don't know. To me, it's similar to, I think it's called Tidal Flare, maybe. But I feel like Tidal Flare is the shiftier version. And so if you're going to get one of them, just get that one. And then I did pick up one more matte shade from them. If you don't know, I really like the Terra Moons mattes. This is the shade Beetlejuice. It's a very vibrant orange. I feel like they are have changed their matte formula. And now they're more firmly pressed. So it... It's different than the older shades I have, like Twilight and Fourth Dimension and stuff like that, but it still is really nice and very vibrant and true to pan, and I do really enjoy this color. You know what? Let's just go ahead and round out these swatches on the arm all together since there are so few. I had a very tiny menagerie order. These are three shades that I wanted when I placed my last menagerie order, but they were all out of stock. And so they were all in stock. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. This first shade is Koala Hugs. And I will say, I feel like the shimmer formula from menagerie has definitely changed from when I got Animal Kingdom and the square pan to when they switched over to the circle pan. And I don't think I like it as much. Uh, I just feel like it's not quite as impactful as Animal Kingdom and Turtle Club and all the ones I have in the square pan are. This is a kind of taupey, warm, maybe even brown base with a blue and pink sparkle, but it's a very subtle shimmery sparkle. This next shade though, I'm really happy with. This is the shade Drought and this is like the exact yellow I have been hunting for from brands like this light pastel not too you know green leaning not too orange leaning just a really nice yellow I really I'm very happy about that one and then last as I showed you I got the shade flipper and again I feel like this one isn't what I thought it was going to be based on the pictures in the pictures it looks much more like a yellowy green whereas here it's much more blue toned and it's not nearly as pastel as it seems in the pictures. I'm going to show you all of these shadows one more time, then I'll wash off my arm and give you my thoughts about my Black Friday purchases. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my Black Friday purchases. I feel like for the most part, the shades I got, I do enjoy. Uh, really happy with all of the looksy stuff I got. As I said, happy with most of the lethal stuff I got with the exception of this one, but I just don't think it's a a brand that I'm going to be looking out for in the future, but I'm glad that I tried it out one more time because I never would have known that if I hadn't, and it would have been something I kept thinking about, and I don't need it to take up my brain space anymore, so I'm happy about that. I would say out of all of them, the only more impulse one was the Copacetic Cosmetics order, but they were doing a really good sale, and these are shades that I have had my eyes on, so I was happy to add them to my collection. And I'm glad that I was able to kind of censor myself and not make way bigger of an order just to, like, say I did it, you know, because, oh, they're doing a sale. Uh, I feel like that's something I have done in the past, and I'm really happy with the fact that I was able to kind of censor myself this year, and even though I did do five orders, I feel like I did a pretty good job of keeping the orders small and only getting what I had been wanting beforehand. The Terra Moons one, honestly, I would say was a little disappointing. I just feel like, I mean, I'm really happy about this one happy about this one because it fills a hole and it's exactly what I expected it to be. Happy with the orange, although I don't know if I love the new matte formula as much as the old matte formula, but then these other three I feel like I probably could have lived my life without. This one because I got a dupe of it, you know, at the same exact time, and 
you know, I don't need that in my life. But I guess I'm, if anything, I'm happy that I can now tell you about it so you don't get dupes, you know. But uh, these two, I just feel like they weren't what I expected based on the photos I saw online. And so I'm a little bummed about that. I have always been a really big Terra Moons fan. And if you saw my recent video talking about all of the eyeshadows I have, then you probably know that already. But I do kind of feel like they're falling from grace just a little bit for me with the price hikes and feeling like the pictures that they have online aren't representative of what I have been getting. And I feel like they've been releasing a lot. So we're gonna see how this new order that I did goes. The shades ended up being pretty nice and affordable. I think I got them all for like 20 bucks. So for four shades, I'm pretty happy about that, but we'll see how that goes. That's not what this is about. And then the last order, kind of like what I was saying with Lethal, Menagerie is one I've been like, going back and forth like I don't know do I like it do I not and I feel like this confirmed for me like this is a brand I don't really need to be looking out for anymore I am really happy to have the yellow but the other two aren't quite what I expected based on you know what I have been building up in my head let me know though down below what did you get for Black Friday did you make any purchases were you happy with what you picked up are there any regrets I would say overall I don't regret any of my purchases because these are things that had been on my mind and I would have hated to have paid full price to try them later when I know you know myself and I know I would have at some point so I feel like by making the purchase, I've at least kind of eliminated some things from my brain space for the future. And I know like, I don't have to keep Lethal on my radar. I don't have to keep Menagerie on my radar. And I feel good about that. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, I definitely don't want to try to justify overspending. I'm happy that I was able to kind of keep myself censored, but I know for some people this is a lot to pick up. So, you know, we're all different, and I hope that you could at least enjoy hearing my experience with Black Friday shopping this year. Until I see you next time, I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye!